Hello, what I thought I'd do in this tutorial is demonstrate how to create a item which can be built in my workshop. Now, unfortunately I'm I'm no good at 3D modeling, like I've you know that's not my skill set, I can't make a 3D model. So I'm just gonna edit something that already exists in the game and m turn it into a uh, a workshop item. Now I always thought that it was stupid the game didn't have any fridges to build. Like you can build little coolers. But I mean, am I really going to shove a hundred Nuka-Cola Quantums in a cooler? It'd be better if I had a, if I had a fridge. So I'm going to demonstrate here how to sort of turn the fridge item into something that you can uh, make in game. So I'm going to look for a refrigerator first, and the one we're going to want to go for is pre-war refrigerator broken, because like all the others just don't look suitable in my mind. But you can do this to any of them. This is just my demonstration. Like these ones, you can see the inside, so I don't think it would make a suitable container. Whereas this one. Is perfect to turn into a you know a container because it just looks like that. I don't know why they called it pre-war underscore fridge because it's not exactly pre-war because it's nasty as hell. So I'm going to uh, delete everything that's inside it and give it a unique ID. So I'll just call it tutorial fridge because we don't want to you know generate one that has stuff in it. And we're going to add some keywords to it now. And we're going to want to look for. Uh, is chest for stat tracking. Now I'm not sure why exactly what that does, but all the other objects from the base game does it. I think it must have something to do with uh, in-game stat tracking, to do with one of the one of the uh, statistics that adds up. So I'm gonna add another one now, which is called something like uh, it's called something like well, a workshop container keyword, and this will be useful for when we're cat when it's getting categorized. You know, when you search through. Uh, you yeah, know, workshop slash furniture slash containers. Uh, that's what that is used for. So we hit OK on that, and yes, we want to create a new form. And so I'm going to save my plugin. And so there are two other things we need. We're going to need to create a sort of a 3D uh, reference thing, a, a sort of a preview thing for it. Now, um, I might cut here because I can't quite remember what it's called. Okay, it just clicked in my head. It's called a transform. So we want to go down to here, miscellaneous transform. I'm going to look for duplicate one that's sort of kind of similar to my, my fridge. I'm going to du duplicate workshop empty nuka cola machine. I'm just going to call it workshop underscore fridge. And I'm going to go for preview object. This is the easiest way to do it. We're just going to go for preview object and hit tutorial fridge. And this black fridge will come up. And that's alright. It, it looks black uh, in in this view, but it will look fine when we put it in the game. And yes, we want to create a new form. So now we're going to want to go back to our container that we made before and find tutorial fridge and preview transform. We're just going to look for what did I call it? I called it workshop underscore tutorial. Um, maybe, I just, maybe I just called it workshop underscore fridge. Okay, so I, I called it workshop underscore fridge instead of fridge, which is why I can't find it. Workshop underscore fridge, and that is the transform object that we made before. Like that. Preview workshop underscore fridge, there it is. And I'm gonna hit OK on that. And I just want to address something. Um, if you have made your own object, I think the way to get it into the game will be if you put it in your Fallout 4 slash data slash meshes slash the name of your plugin and then hit this edit and select it you can then select uh, a mesh that's how it used to work in the old Fallouts but uh, I don't know if it still works and you'll notice that now it's taken on the appearance of a black uh, outline and that again is fine that is how it shows up okay save and now we're going to want to create what is essentially it's the equivalent of a recipe in the old fallouts um, and we're just going to it's called a construction object or something like that, I guess to try and find it in the list they're called it's uh, item slash constructible object and again the best way to do this is to duplicate one that's you know that's kind of similar it's the quickest way to do this really so I'm going to duplicate the floor safe because that appears in the same category. You know, it's a container and it's a metal object, so all the sound things are already there. So I'm just going to call it workshop underscore co underscore fridge now. And we 
don't have to bother containing any of uh, changing any of this because it's already all the same because you know, it's a, a workshop furniture container item and it's pickup sound metal small and uh you know workbench keyword workbench type furniture yeah that's all that's all basically fine the only thing we're going to want to change is we want to change our created object and we're going to look for what we built before i think i just called it tutorial fridge i should have prefixed it with uh yeah very good tutorial fridge and we'll change that and we just want to create one and now here acquired items list here we can change what objects we want to use in our uh in our thing so if i clicked on springs i can change that to anything so and I could sort of see underscore rubber would probably be, uh, and maybe we'll use free rubber, like that. We could add another thing if we wanted. Uh, C underscore acid. Uh, value for acid. We only want one. If we wanted to put one acid in our fridge, you know, we could do that. And uh, you can basically experiment with as much as you want here, but I'm going to leave that. And I'm going to hit OK and yes, create a new form. And that is that done. That is how we put it into our workshop. So I'm going to jump into the game now and demonstrate that working. So we're here at Abernathy Farm and I'm going to demonstrate my uh, workshop item. So we were looking for furniture containers and we see it's got a little plus on it which means there's modded content in it. And if we cycle along enough, eventually we'll find our fridge. Here it is. I don't know how it decides what order to put it in. It's possibly, to, maybe it's to do the name, maybe uh, alphabetized, I don't know. But anyway, here's our fridge and you can see it requires uh, steel, gear, rubber and acid, as I said earlier. And we can just build one of those like that. We can build as many fridges as we want. And yeah, and we can use them as containers uh, if you really want. Uh, this is awful. Why did I do this? Uh, so yeah, that is all. That is really all. That is. Um, I probably won't do a tutorial tomorrow, Saturday or Sunday. I'll take a little bit of time off and sort of figure out something like probably something to do with quests or scripting that I can do. But it'll be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more advanced and probably a little bit more useful than something quite generic like this. But. Hopefully this, hopefully, hopefully this was useful and you can sort of apply uh, my techniques to your own mod if you've got something better in mind than making loads and loads of fridges. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching and goodbye.